All right, we got a video of a canoeer here in the harbor. She's going to be a very good example of what I mean by paddling in sequence of events and sequence of body positions and sequence of all the different parts of the stroke. She has a lot of good things going on, but a little bit out of sequence. So I'm going to play the video in real time and then we're going to slow it down and you'll see what I mean. Alright, so as you can see, she's keeping the boat running pretty good. The boat's level. I really like her setup and her hips forward and rotation and all of the things. I'm going to come to a good spot really quick. So i show you what I mean. That's a great setup. Uh, it looks like her core is fully engaged, connected. She's not hyperextending or disconnecting, which is really good. We are going to continue working on her rotation, though, so that she can get further. She has more to give, so I would be focusing on getting her hip rotated forward, therefore her back, upper back able to rotate forward. A cue I like for that is belly button to the knee, so I don't really see a whole lot of rotation here. I see that her chest is mainly facing forward, her hips are mainly facing forward, but instead, I would like her to be facing that way towards the short. That way she'll get much more reach, much more body weight stacked on the blade. That's just the setup. I'd like to play this in slow motion and show you what I mean by sequence of events. As you see, she's all the way back here. Everything's back. Her hips back, her shoulders are back, her paddle is back. She's dragging it a little bit too far. And then we're going to see, okay, so she's out of the water. Watch what she does with everything that I just mentioned. Suddenly, we all come forward. So she's either everything's back or everything moves forward together. What that does is eliminates the boat's momentum. It doesn't allow for this power to continue through the stroke even while the paddle's out of the water. So what I would want her to focus on is right, right here, her blade is buried. She presses up. And the second her power phase is over, which I think is right about here, I want to see her hips initiating coming forward now. So they would start coming forward as her blade meets her hips, her paddle meets her hips, and then by this point she'd be more upright, her hips would be already forward, and then her back would already have started rotating forward, and then she would be completely fully rotated instead of just coming all the way back and then all the way forward together. When you watch it, you can look at the nose of the boat, how it kind of just stops as, and almost looks like it goes backwards as she, as she throws everything forward together. So what I mean by sequences of, of events is once that blade is buried and she's pressing up, the power phase is over, she starts pressing with her down leg, her knee, and then her hips start coming forward and then she rotates with her elbow coming out of the water her upper body starts rotating and her knee has her front knee has already been forward and then she's in her full setup and then she takes a stroke that's the sequence of events so that's what i would have you start working on and uh you would have much smoother stroke everything individually looks really good